Now it is an extreme delight for me to introduce a fellow Floridian, Congressman Al West, a freshman. It really is an honor to be here with you all on Jerusalem Day. And uh, as Mr. Pallone just said, uh, you have to understand history. You have to be a student of history. And it's very clear. In 73 AD, after the Romans conquered the region called Judea, Emperor Hadrian issued a decree saying that the name of that region would go from being called Judea to Palestine. Palestine. It has nothing to do with a certain group of people. If it does have to do with a certain group of people, it's the Jewish people, because right. those were the people that were conquered. But we have been incapable of reclaiming that piece of history. We have lost that sense of the propaganda war, if you want to put it that way. Because if you really do want to return that land back to the true Palestinians, well, then it's the Jewish people. That's right. Because that's what we're talking about. is very simple. The word Jerusalem is mentioned countless times in the Bible. It's mentioned countless times in the Torah. But in the Quran, the Hadith, the Surah, it's not mentioned one time. There is no reason for anyone to lay claim to Jerusalem, which has always been the historic capital of the Jewish people. A people and a nation that has existed for 5,771 years. The modern day state of Israel was created in May of 1948. And until we can have partners that will recognize that modern day state of Israel, well, as Golden Meir said, if the Palestinians were to lay down their weapons, there would be peace. But if the Israelis lay down their weapons, there will be a massacre. If we are to understand that there can be peace. It has to be peace from a position of strength. It has to be peace from a position of recognizing that the modern day Jewish state shall exist and shall always exist with its borders and its boundaries as it is, not as some pre-1967 edict that you heard coming out of this current administration. And as a congressman from the state of Florida, I stand for the right of Israel to exist, not as a political peace, but because of the lessons that I learned as a little kid growing up in Georgia, because there's an inextricable bond and a tie of my faith to that holy land, something that I had the experience of in December of 2009, and something that I want to make sure that my children and my grandchildren get the opportunity to experience. And so my unwavering support of Israel is simple, that no man, no nation, be it in Hezbollah, Hamas, Iran, Egypt, Muslim Brotherhood, Al-Quds Martyrs Brigade, Islamic Jihad, no one will ever take away the future and the legacy of the modern day state of Israel and the inheritance of the Jewish people and their heirs. So thank you for having me here today. Since 1991, the Unity Coalition for Israel, UCI, has educated and motivated millions of people around the world to action in support of Israel. UCI is an alliance of Christian and Jewish organizations and individuals working together to ensure the sovereignty, safety, and security of Israel, America's only reliable democratic ally in the Middle East.